Hey, what's up, guys? It's me again, Sergey Pro, and I want to share with you guys how my friend sold his internet connection to his neighborhood and make money out of it. Maybe you have an internet connection too fast for you, you're not using most of it, you can actually make money out of it. My friend has a very fast internet connection and then most of the neighborhood doesn't have internet connection. That's the reason why I went there to his place and helped him out configure and set up these things. So when you're going through this tutorial and there's something you didn't understand, feel free to comment there, give us a clear question of what you really want to understand so that we can give you a feedback. Because we created this tutorial as informative as we want it to be, I wanna show you a very simple diagram so that I can start explaining what are the things that we're trying to achieve. So let's go there and start it. This is the setup we're going to do. We're going to put three transmitters or what we call sector antenna to transmit signal and cover a 360 degrees because each one can cover 120 horizontal beam width and if we are going to put this one on a setup like this we need three so that we can cover our location in a 360 degrees the device we're going to use has a maximum distance of five kilometers now if you want more than five kilometers you can go to ubiquitous website and check um, the device that can cover from 10 to 15 kilometers. So I'll put the link on the description below. I want to show you what we have created. Um, so this is like commercial one. And then this one, this is one that we have. So we measured the right angles here so that we can cover at 360. Our current setup right now would be one. If we are going to expand later on, we, we are just going to add one here and add another one here because we are actually on a budget. So there are around five clients who have already confirmed with us that they are going to have the internet connection and they are coming from one side so we can cover that one with one now i'm going to show you a very cool tool given by ubiquity i'm going to put the link on the description below this will help you survey the area that you want to provide internet you can actually decide how tall your pole is what are the devices you're going to use so i'm just going to quickly show you this one for the sake of this recording i want to show you how you're going to use it and how we use it so here you just go ahead and type the address like doing it in google Maps, so that you can locate that one and if you have located your location you can go ahead and click here and, and select this ptmp because this means point to multi-point once you have clicked that one you can see this one you can select the devices from ubiquity product which one you're going to use we use this one so this is what i'm going to select on the other side this is some sort of the receiver one of one of our clients we are going to click also here and just select one of these this one now if you have selected that one you can see that there's a mountain in between our um, location so this will kind of guide you that you cannot put this one because there's a mountain in between your devices if you if you are going to put up your pole you need to put up a very very high tower out there so that they can connect together but of course if you are doing a survey you need to look into the place where you're going to put that one so you can move it around so let's just say we're going to put this one on top of the mountain let's just minimize that one and move that one into the top of the mountain this that's where our tower is going to be and you can actually move this one how far your clients are is that five kilometers away and you can also add multiple clients you can also expand this one what is the range maybe it's further so we can pull that one like that so let's click on one of our clients and maximize this one you can see that it's green it means we can make a lower tower because it depends on the location of our clients so you can toggle that one you can see the measurement and at the same time the distance between these devices so if you click on the other one we're actually good the other one's on the top the other one's on the top so no problem and the third one uh, it's it's a light obstruction out there so we're going to put it up that's how we decided on how tall our pole is what are the devices that we're going to use and just go ahead and play around with this tool uh, that's free so no need to pay for it let's just go ahead and unbox our devices now these are the devices that we're going to use we're going to see this light beam m5 5 gigahertz and of course we have your light ap ac 5 gigahertz if you want more details and specifications it is much better if you visit the manufacturer's website ubiquity now let's start and unbox these devices open this one and see what's inside this is the main device we have power cable metal clamp we have manual power injector and then the mounting okay so let's try to quickly assemble this one there you go all right you can make it stand like that open this one we have ethernet port and a level that can guide us 
so we can start opening this uh, light beam m5 we have this first one power cable power injector horn this is what they call a horn and then of course metal clamp and then the manual of course and this is the dish quickly open this one assemble it you can see some locking uh, space out there and put the black back panel and then make sure the lock is out plug in the horn hear something and then you can put the mounting let's go ahead and quickly unbox this second item because we already uh, have seen the first one so let's just make this one very fast assemble this one there you go put the back panel get the horn and then the clump so let's go ahead and try to simulate how this is going to work so we have two light beam m5 and we can actually add up to a maximum of eight m5 to receive signals from this light beam ap sector antenna just try to imagine that this can cover up to 120 degrees let's go ahead and plug this sector antenna so that we can configure it and jump into my computer so we're going to change the ip address of our network adapter because the ip address of ubiquity is 192.168.1.20 we need to be in the same network so we need to change that one in our network adapter 192.168.1.2 that will be our ip address and then we can just put submit mask here okay okay and then close this one close that one open our browser dial in the ip address of the ubiquity 192.168.20 we're able to reach the page go for advanced proceed and then we'll be able to log in put in the default uh, username and password ubnt for username and password accept and then log in now that we're in it's prompting us to change our username and password but we're going to do one later on let's move on and configure this one go to settings and network so the existing ip network that we are using is 192.168.88.0 so we're going to use 192.168.88.201 for this sector antenna and then the gateway would be 88.1 now make sure to set this one as bridge and we are going to save this one it will prompt us to change the password so we're going to do that one so that it will be secure then we're going to change that one password change save this one and then it's going to apply the changes after applying that one will be disconnected because we changed the ip address of the sector antenna so we need to go to our network adapter change our ip address also so go here properties and then set one we can put this one as 88.200 and then the subnet mask will be the same uh, we don't need other details there that would be good for us to configure the nano beam again let's go back to the page refresh this one we're able to connect advance proceed then you can see that the ip address there is 88.201 login and then there you go we're in so you can see light ap ac here we're going to configure the wireless select this ptmp that's point to multipoint let's set the ssid for the sake of this recording i'm going to set ubnt sector antenna i'm going to change the one later on down and set the wireless security we can go for wpa2 aes and then put in the password here this will be the password for the connection between this device and the stations that are going to connect to this one now we can save this configuration and wait for it to refresh again after saving we can go ahead and log out and then we're going to connect the m5 light beam so that we can configure it also and connect this one to our sector antenna plug the cable there you can see that there will be power lighting here if you are doing that one and we're going to change again the network adapter IP address because this is set to 88 network. We're going to change that one with 192.168.1.2 because the default IP of your Ubiquiti again is 192.168.20. So we can connect and configure it also. 
let's go ahead and change the IP on the web 1.20 and we should be able to connect to this device advance proceed and we can try to log in here default username UBNT default password UBNT again license agreement login and then there you go we're in configure network we need to change the IP address of this one it should be 88 network again so this would be 192.168.88.202 so that will be the IP address of this one and then of course change the default gateway of this light beam that's 192.168.88.1 and we can go and save or probably change click change and then it will require us to put in the password now we are going to put in the new password confirm the new password change change again apply applying changes we're going to wait for a while now we're going to get disconnected because we changed the IP so we need to go back to our adapter and change our IP address to 88.200 again so we set this one 88.200 okay let's go back to the browser and refresh the page we should be able to go in proceed and then put in the username and password login we have configured the one the next thing we're going to do is we're going to configure your wireless so we are going to set this one as station and we are going to scan for the SSID that we have configured so that we can connect but as you can see here we can scan the Air Max AC but we cannot see the SSID if you are having this problem you need to go and download the latest firmware of Lightbeam M5 and upgrade that one so that's what we're going to do so let's go there I'll put this uh, link in the description below and then you can see that one go for downloads and then since we are using M5 we go here and then select the model you are using so we have it here download this one accept then download it this will be quick we're going to go to locate the file and upload it there you go open upload we're going to wait for a while now that it's uploaded we can click on update this will update the firmware take note this will take some time so I did a fast forward for this one so that we can move on to the next configuration after the update it will restart so we need to re -log in again and we can now configure our wireless connection to our sector antenna so let's go ahead and select again this will scan you can see the select button here is enabled we can select the UBNT sector antenna that we have configured we select this one and then the SSID will be there we scroll down we put in the password of that sector antenna we have created earlier and then change apply now we are going to get disconnected because it did a reboot so we're going to refresh this one to connect back again and we're going to go to the main and you can see light beam m5 scroll down here you can see that we have wireless LAN and LAN connectivity so it means that we're connected to something else let's go ahead and check it on our sector antenna since they are connected wirelessly we will be able to connect so I have changed the IP that's 88.201 that's our sector antenna we're going to log in and this will give us a more detailed connection between the sector antenna and our M5 there you have it you can see that we have the local light AP and then the right side we have remote so light beam M5 is connected there are more details below that you can see but we're going to skip the one for now we're going to connect the second light beam m5 so there will be two connections to that sector antenna so we have tagged this one by their ip address this is 202 this is 201 this is the sector antenna and then this is 203 there you go since this is the first time we are going to connect to the second light beam we need to change the adapter IP address again into 192.168.1.2 so that we can connect to the default IP of Ubiquiti 192.168.1.20
properties and then change this one to 1.2 okay okay and then we're going to go to the browser again 1.20 refresh and we should be able to go in advanced proceed put in the default username and password again put in the password and login since we're in the second thing we're going to do is we're just going to upgrade this one with the firmware that we have downloaded like what we did with the first m5 upload this one upload we're going to make it a little bit faster update it will install that firmware it will give us a reboot we need to log in back now we're going to change the network settings like what we did with the earlier versions this would be 192.168.88.203 default gate will be 192.168.88.1 we change this one new password verify password and then change and then apply so we'll be disconnected because we changed the IP we need to go back to that adapter again and change our IP address to 192.168.88.200 okay close and then go back to that web browser again refresh proceed login configure wireless so that we can connect this one with our sector antenna we can scan here and there you go it appeared already we can select that one select and we're going to put in the password that we have set on our sector antenna change apply we got disconnected because it did a quick reboot with this one jump into our sector antenna we can also check here both connections of the m5 so let's log in here on our dashboard you can see that there are two remote light beam that is connected now below here you can see there are two light beams that are connected what is the speed what is the distance now there are also more detailed information as you scroll down now let's go to our sector antenna and plug in the internet link this is the power injector where the sector antenna is connected we are going to plug our internet link there you go as i am connected to one of the light beams i will try to check if we have internet already google let's search for torogi pro visit my youtube channel and we're able to have internet access this is the poll we have created and we are not able to install it because we need a group of guys to help us put it up so we're just going to show you how you can clump your sector antenna here and then uh, in a couple of days we'll be putting this one up so here's the metal clamp and the mounting of the sector antenna we're just going to do it like that screw him up and tighten him up like that so it will look like this it will be up and running in a couple of days so this is one of our clients and it's waiting to be activated if our sector antenna is up that's it guys i hope you have learned something from this video and um, this has been a very very long documentation for us so i think we have missed something just ask if you didn't understand something out there and we can help you out so don't forget to subscribe more tutorials to come this is Torogi pro goodbye